Hey guys, it's Toby with Coast Star Performance, Custom Performance. And uh, here we've got a 408 Windsor, which is a pretty common build for the Ford guys. And we're going to test out different camshafts. We're going to test out the Holly High Ram. And we're going to test out the Edelbrock Super Victor EFI intake. Now, this is a our Pro Street short block, so it's an all internal balance. Forged 4340 crank, 4340 rods, obviously forged pistons. We're not messing with that cast stuff. And uh, it's a hydraulic roller. Uh, this first cam is 240 duration. It's 248 exhaust. Uh, it's got about 570 lift with some 1.6 rate ratio rockers. Um, Man was nice enough to uh, give us the push rods. That's Man push rods. It's a 118 wall. They're about 7500 long. And AFR was nice enough to donate a set of 205 small block Ford heads set up with their hydraulic roller spring. So this is their 8019 spring. Since we're going to be running, you know, 570 to over 600 lift. And the, I guess the main purpose of the story is to test different intakes because although a lot of people have seen this Holly High Ram on engines or engine stands or you know on Holly's website. There haven't been a lot of videos for guys that want to use it. Now, we wish we had a bigger engine, but this is what we had for right now, uh, 408 cubic inch. Uh, luckily, it is 10 and a half to 1 compression, so it should work pretty well, even with this big Holly High Ram. And uh, like I said, we're going to test it with the Edelbrock Victor Jr. Both have been ported to port match, basically, to make sure they align with the heads. What's the, I don't see the point to running an intake if you don't at least port match it. You know, you spend all this money on bigger heads and you don't spend the time to port match it. It's uh, it's like you're working backwards. But uh, like I said, we're gonna be running this fuel injected as you can see, the only way you can run it. And we actually use an AM Electronics uh, ECU, their Infinity unit. We use the Holly crank trigger kit and the MSD cam sync. Uh, we prefer to stay away from distributors. I mean, distributors run they work great, but uh, when you want perfect accuracy on the timing, you got to have a, a reluctant wheel. That's that's how new engines are. That's that's why we went with the crank trigger. Uh, anyway, uh, you'll be seeing more videos and some uh, dyno pulls. So if you have any questions, uh, we do stay busy, but feel free to email us if you want to email me. It's Tobias at coasthigh.com or Tobias at CPRengines.com. Thank you guys. Hey guys, Martin here, and uh, we're here with Rick from AFR, guys. and uh, we're getting some dyno testing done on this 408 with the Holly High Ram. So, we'll do some pulls. Uh, this run right here, we're going to go from 3500 to 6500 RPM. foot-pounds of torque and 579 horsepower uh, as you can see we've got a pretty nice torque curve it's uh, happy 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 hey guys it's Toby with Coast High Performance again and as you can see we've got the Holly High Ram 351 off We've got an Edelbrock Super Victor EFI on with a 90 degree elbow and a 102 millimeter throttle body, which is the same throttle body we had on the Holly High Ram. So now we're going to see what it does. Uh, both have been port matched to the AFR heads. So that, you know, that's out of the picture. We don't have to worry about different runner dimensions or anything like that. So. We're actually going to test it out and see what it does. Hey guys, uh, all right, we're testing the Super Victor Junior intake manifold now, and it's going to be the exact same air flow uh, or air fuel ratio and timing tables as the Holly High Ram. Uh, we want to have an apples to apples comparison between the two. 
twin tanks and the same camshaft. So here we go. torque down low about the same peak torque and then the graph lays over itself pretty well so it's safe to say that with this camshaft not much of a difference between the Holly high ram and the super victor junior intake manifold with a 102 millimeter throttle body uh, we'll probably make a difference with bigger cubic inch and bigger camshafts so uh, we'll look to see uh, on the next cam change tabular data. So we've got uh, 527 foot-pounds of torque at 5200 RPM and again that 575 number right there and as you can see it just carries it stays pretty flat there at the higher RPMs up to 6500 RPM. Hey guys it's Toby with Costat Performance again and we're doing another test throttle body wise this time on this 408 Windsor. Uh, we got rid of the elbow and the 90 or the 102 millimeter throttle body, and this time we're putting a four barrel throttle body system. There's plenty of guys that like that old school carburetor look, and we're gonna see if it makes a big difference. Uh, I, it should make a difference because you're not gonna have the same area as you will with a 102 millimeter throttle body. So we'll see how much power we're actually losing. Uh, beside that, nothing's been changed. Uh, timing hasn't been changed. The air fuel ratio curve, nothing's been changed from the Holly or the previous 90 degree elbow. So let's see, let's see what it does. Hey guys, all right, so uh, here we are again with the Edelbrock Super Victor intake. This time we took the 90 degree elbow off with the 102 millimeter throttle body and we have a Edelbrock four barrel throttle body that's gonna give you better hood clearance. Now the bores are smaller uh, dimensionally than the big throttle body, so we should see some what of a difference here. Let's see what we do. sure does choke it down a little bit here you can see where we were before on the curve and then the the bright green and white lines the lower numbers is where we're at now uh, we lost uh, about 10 foot pounds of torque and uh, about 13 horsepower there on the big end hey guys it's Toby with Coast High Performance again and it's day two, we're now testing out the bigger camshaft. This one's uh, 252 duration. It's got well over 600 lift. So it should be a bit uh, more powerful than the 240 duration cam we had on before, which was just under 600 lift. So we're gonna see what it does, and we'll have that video for you next. Hey guys, Martin here at Coast High. So this is day two of dyno testing on this 351 uh, Windsor Stroker engine, 408 cubic inches with the Airflow Research 205 heads. This is cam number two. It's a little bit bigger than the previous one, so uh, we're gonna do some runs. Let's see how it does. We're just trying to get it warmed up right now so we have the same conditions.
two foot pounds of torque, 611 horsepower done at 5500 RPM. You can see the difference between the two cams here overlaid in the graph. This is the larger cam, makes less torque down low, but makes it up on top over here. As you can see, that's our power difference right there. The previous cam made uh, at 6,500 RPM, made 574 horsepower. The new cam is 611 horsepower. And you can see the difference in torque to 464 horsepower, or I'm sorry, 464 foot pounds of torque versus 493 foot pounds of torque at 4,500, or sorry, 6,500 RPM. So, considerable difference. Now they do make the same uh, torque at uh, right about 5200 RPM is where they cross uh, on the torque curve there. Hey guys, all right, so uh, the last test we just did was on gasoline. We thought just for shits and giggles to put this uh, winter on E85. So uh, we had some laying around, dumped it in there. Let's see what it does. Uh, we're running just uh, our local Arco has E85, so we got Arco E85 in there. Smell like corn juice. horsepower here on the E85 but we did pick up some bottom end torque so that's pretty nice we were expecting that we could also get more aggressive with the timing and uh, probably gain something there here's the tabular data on that for you guys to look at we're back and this time we're going to test out the third cam the largest cam we have this one's 256 degrees duration the last one was 252 the lift is about the same it's about 630 lift with a 1.6 ratio rocker so we're going to see if it really makes a difference uh, nothing has changed we've still been using the Edelbrock Super Victor EFI intake the same 102 millimeter throttle body so we'll see if the bigger cam makes more power. We've already seen what the second cam uh, has done. So we're gonna have those results posted. Now with a hydraulic roller, you typically don't wanna go too big. You can, but of course you've got a heavier lifter, so that's where guys go to a solid roller. We'll see what comes into play with this next. Now we're back with cam number three from Cam Motion and uh, Aerofar cylinder heads. So. Uh, not a huge difference, as Toby said. We're going to get to the dyno testing. We're just going to get a little heat in edge and then we're going to go. Yeah, we 
which test we ran. Yeah. Actually, we're always so fixated on peak numbers, so that's why we didn't see much of a difference on the peak numbers. As you can see, the graph overlaid perfectly on the peak numbers, but the larger cam did suffer uh, under the curve. So we lost, uh, right there, we lost a good amount of torque at 4,300 RPM. We're looking at 454 foot-pounds of torque with the older cam and 436 with the bigger cam. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, remember, you spend more time in the middle here than at the peak. So uh, think about that when you're camming your engines and putting together your combination.